The history of this land starts with my grandfather, Glenn Allen. He put together a ranch of about 30,000 acres and started running cattle on it. The oil really came in the 40s. The history of Odessa is, you know, oil and gas. It's been our basic economy for probably 100 years. Our ranch is not in the main oily part of the Permian. It's kind of shaped like a donut, and we're in the, the donut hole, which is actually one of the reasons it's been good for solar development compared to other parts of West Texas. The Oberon project came to be back in about 2016 when Ashley Watt reached out to us. She said what every solar developer wants to hear. Are you interested in putting solar on my land out here in West Texas? We started construction in the first quarter of 2019. That's when I came in. The first time that I met Ashley was here on site. We met her dad, Richard. He put his arm around me and said, I have two things, keep the property clean and keep it secure. And so that was kind of my mantra for the whole construction process. It took about a year to build this project and it went online in July of 2020. Coming into an economy like this that's so heavily driven by oil and gas, you would think there's gonna be a lot of questions and concerns, and that was something we prepared for. And this was the first big solar project for our county. There was a lot of unknowns about the technology and what everything actually looks like, so it was great to work with the company to help understand the dynamics and the new technology that's in place at this particular project. It's amazing to see those field of solar. It's almost like a lake in the middle of the desert. There are 655,000 solar panels in this first phase of Oberon, over 1,500 acres. It's enormous. Oberon is two individual plants that are put together as a 180 megawatt site. This facility is designed to last 25 to 30 years, and that's going to be beneficial to the energy future. This is actually generating power that's staying in Texas for Texans, and it was a project built by Texans. These are great projects. They have huge amounts of construction jobs, they have huge amounts of capital investment, and then they sort of put you on the map that you are able to make these projects happen in your community or your region. This is something that we're gonna have in our county for a long, long time, and we'll be able to see the benefits for quite a while. My mother passed away at the end of 2018, so she knew it was going to be built, but never got to see it. And then my dad got to see it, he was at the groundbreaking and then passed away earlier this year. I think they would both be really proud that there's a good productive use of this land beyond just cattle. Solar is the future in power and electricity. It produces so much power for so cheap, there's no way it's not part of the energy future. I think we have a lot of untapped potential, not only here, but all over this region for this new type of power generation. It's just getting more efficient, it's just getting bigger, and it's just getting better. So I think we're gonna see a lot more of it. Our future's pretty bright. This is coming. In 10, 15 years, it won't be a rarity to see a solar facility. It'll be commonplace. It'll be like driving by a cornfield today.